the pendant and the earrings. It starts with the earrings and then it does the pendant. So let's get started. I have um, a light or a dark lilac, I guess you could call it, in my bobbin and in my top thread. And it's going to do the earrings first. I'm using two layers of Wash away stabilizer with the shelf liner method. laying down the foundation stitches for everything else to hang on to. And I sure hope you can hear me. of finishing the satin stitching around the edges. I'll be right back.
don't cut the knot. I know I say that all the time, but it's just a reminder for me and you not to trim that knot or it will fall apart. All right, let me change to change uh, to another color to do the tail. All right, I've changed to a pink, even though the file calls for white. I'm going to stitch this one in pink. So I've changed my bobbin to pink, and I've got a thread tail at the top. Make sure you trim these tails. Even though it's a tail on the top, you still want to trim it because it could get looped in there real tiny and be hard to cut. Just a darker pink. Alright, I'll be back when this is done. Alright, the bunnies have finished. The flop-haired bunnies with the pink tail. So now I'm going to put this color back in to do the pendant. Alright, I've changed the red colors, trimmed the tails on the back. And by the way, this the earrings took 13 minutes to stitch. And there's 28 minutes total in this file. So we're going to stitch the pendant. And it'll stitch just like this one. It'll load, it will lay down the underlay stitches or the foundation for the, for the pendant. And then it'll come back and do the other two. This one's a little easier to see as it stitches. calls for a separate color that's just to stop it in case you want to change colors of the loop I'm going to use the same color thread that I've stitched the bunny out in this is color stop number five on this whole file to stitch it out 
in, I guess I'll stitch it on the pink. I'm going to get a darker pink. All right, I've changed my bobbin and my top thread to the color for the tail. The file calls for white. You can use whatever color you want, gray, brown, pink, blue, purple, whatever. Six minutes into 28 minutes for the whole this whole file. So this is the mama bunny and this is the baby bunnies. <laughs> That's why their tails are different colors. the bunnies. I'm gonna go take it and wash it out and I'll show you what it looks like. I'll be right back. So this is how close I cut it out of the stabilizer. And this, this is what I have left. So I can cut it right here and I'll have a whole other piece. And then I'll have a short piece here and here that I can sew together with my wash away thread. But I'm gonna go wash this out and I'll be back. Alright, so this is the washed out and on these I did not finish cutting the tails so I want you to see how easy it is to fold that back a little bit and trim those little tails so you have a nice back and a nice front let's check this one okay so I'm just folding it back a little bit I'm putting on my glasses Must have trimmed this one already. Shh. All right. So now you have to do is let them dry and put the, the earring hardware on them. And I'm finished for the day. Can't talk anymore. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the earrings. Happy Easter.